use your left hand to teach your right. So I need to do a bit of video work, but I wanted to show something quickly. One thing we don't realize, like you think these are just a pair of nunchucks. <laughs> you think these are just a pair of nunchucks. As I've said very often with the Joker, the tool is not what matters. What matters is its function. We've all seen the Joker use a pencil, a harmless pencil, as a weapon. Where have you ever seen that before? I thought my jokes were bad. Give me one reason why I shouldn't have my boy here pull your head off. How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. Ta -da! It's... it's gone. Oh, and by that was the lesson I took from that scene. The tool isn't what matters. What matters is its function. So how are you using your jump rope? How are you using your nunchucks? A lot of our thinking now is that, oh, if I just get the right rope, if I just get the right running shoes, if I just get the right whatever, then I'll be good. But everything comes from within. It's how we use it. Yes, it helps to get good tools, but the tool isn't gonna do anything all by itself. Where's this guy going? The tool isn't going to do anything just by itself. And so the idea is when you're using these, I'm right-handed, as is most of the human population, but you're using your right hand to teach your left, meaning you go into your right hand, you think about it, you look at it, you think, what is my hand doing that my left hand can't do? Isn't it weird that, like, you have one hand that, is so precise and accomplished. And then the other hand isn't. It's almost as like, it's almost like it's someone else's hand. Like you have less control over it. Isn't that weird? Why don't we think of that as weird? Because they're, they're, they're both my, like, I don't know. Do you have, does your right eye see better than your left eye? We don't, we don't think about these things, but anyway, the whole idea, and I'm gonna tie this into the physio work that I have to do on my knee in just a second but the whole idea is you go into your right hand you have to be very conscious in your thinking of how am i rotating it how tight am i holding it where am i applying pressure in my fingers to grip this thing how am i doing the timing and you're using your right hand to teach your left so you try to apply the same concepts there right none of us should be only one-handed it's actually, when you think about it, it actually speaks to a little bit of laziness. We should be able to do whatever we do with our right hand, with our left hand. We should be able to do that. Why should we not be able to do that? You're always gonna have one hand that is better just because of the use over time. But striving for ambidexterity, it can be done. So let me tie this in now. One of the physio exercises that I need to do is work on being able to stand up from sitting. And so applying using my right hand to teach my left hand, in this case, feet, I can't quite stand up with the feet level here. Well, before even that, I can't even bend my knee back fully, right? So I'm here on the right leg, on the left leg I can only get to there so you can see that difference in mobility there's still a lot of swelling here and so what I'm gonna do or what I have been doing is right leg is good I start with the left leg further out and because I can't fully stand up with them both together I'm basically using my right leg to take the brunt of the movement and I'm supposed to go down slowly as well, control it. When I do that, I start to feel the left knee going. The objective is gradually, I'm gonna bring this back, bring this back until I'm here. Now standing up from here, I can't do just yet. I start to lean out on this side too much. And so just by extending and by gradually bringing this back, I'm using the right side to teach the left side. It's kind of like training wheels on a bike. You have the wheels to support you and you can ride along and just um, 
work on the movement of riding and the balance and the feel of riding. You're not really riding yet because you haven't got the balance, but that's what the training wheels are for. So this is really just a quick video. I just wanted to talk about that concept of using your right side to teach your left side. And you can apply this to so many things. Look at areas in your life where you're really good at something. Use the things that make you great in one thing and try and apply it to other things. That's basically the idea. So I'm going to carry on with my training. Soon get this knee back. Soon going to get this knee back. Next year, I'm going to be back in action properly, I hope. All right, let's go. Ten more of these. Control it, control. <coughs> right at the bottom there, I kind of lose the engagement. I've got to work on that. Another very important thing actually, another very, very important thing is at the top of the movement. So I'm pushing, I'm pushing through in my heels, pushing down, up at the top of the movement. It's important to engage the glutes. That's actually one thing I didn't know before the injury is that you can take a lot of strain off the knee by using your glute muscles more as you, even as you're walking. So I'm trying to build that mind muscle connection literally thinking about engaging the glutes as I walk, as I move, as I jump, hopefully soon. Can't quite jump yet. Right now at this point, I can walk, but it's not, my knee feels unstable. And you'll see that I've lost a lot of muscle mass in the left side. And so that's where I'm at now. All right. All right, let me carry on. <sighs> this is my update. This is how my training's going. Let me know how your training's going. As always, you know I love to chat to you guys in the comments. Let me know how your training's going down below. It might help keep me driven, keep my mind on the prize of getting back to full training soon. There goes my microphone. Appreciate you guys and until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. Because I know I am. I'm going to stay moving. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fucking fact.